because I see people passing down under the bridge and it's like I could be one of them like if I choose to get up from this corner then I can walk in here like like obviously I, I get showers here all that stuff like I don't have a home like permanent housing right now but people shouldn't be homeless in this city no. I mean even though if you're homeless you're not homeless because we have so much resources this is why I moved out here because of that and the school and there's much more opportunities out here you go to Waikiki, Honolulu it's like every street is just filled up with tents and all that stuff because people yeah. from here they buy a one-way ticket and they moved out there because it's easier to be homeless down there than over here but for me like when I was living there I make enough just to move like to get by you know what I mean but right now I'm 20 years old you're 20 your 20s is gonna really measure up on like what, what kind of man you're gonna become 20 years old now and I'm like I was like I didn't find all this research yet and I was just staying at the first hill the other the bridge dude oh, I was shit. doing a bunch of drugs and all that stuff and it was like raining so hard and I'm like you know what I mean I'm hungry all of that stuff and I was just like this is I don't want to be this kind of person no. I don't want to be like 30 years old like how people sitting next to me and staying out in the street I mean I'm still struggling it's just that I think Right now, I don't speak to any of my family only because I feel like a loser, you know? Because they expect so much from me. And that's but why I want to go to school and be my own boss and learn how to like manage my own shit. You know, in the street. Because I used to sleep on a freaking rainy day on the freaking cement and look where I am now. Like, if I, if I can get money for drugs, I can get money to pose over my shoulder and all that stuff, you know? I had a rough home life, so I left when I was like 12 years old and started running the streets. Got pregnant, gave him up for adoption. Then kind of within the last couple years, I decided that, you know, I could help these kids more than I was doing just because I've been through it. And it takes somebody to know what is out there and what to expect to help kids. We just need like to know that somebody cares. Yeah. Whether it's an adult figure or somebody around their own age, at least somebody cares. I've been here for 10 years. I've seen so many kids travel in and out of here. It's ridiculous. Probably at least a thousand kids. About half of them get good. The Ryan Center's got a lot to do with it. But, but once you have to be willing to get help and be helped. I was just like, uh, I can't do it no more, I gotta start fresh. I lost a lot of family and everything, so I came up here to just start new. I don't have any severe drug problems or anything like most of the kids out here do, so. When I do come up, when I do start going to school and having the job and everything, like, I know, I know what it's like to hit rock bottom, you know? When I first came out here, I think we didn't know uh, where to sleep, and all of them were like, you know, we got you guys Thank back you. and everything. Cause we, were, Cause we were like, we heard Seattle is a bad place and everything. You know, there's a lot of homeless people and a lot of crazy people walking around. So anything can happen if you're just sleeping on the side of the, of the street. So it was like everyone would sleep under the bridge and like when drug users or something would come around, all of us would stand up and just, you know, exit them out, kind of like a bodyguard at a club. Just go along with yourself. Yeah, yeah you just gotta stay positive. And uh, know that there's always light, like you always find the light in the dark, and if life is what you make of it. And that, that, that saying is so true because nothing can stop you 